Good day, everyone. Welcome to another class. My name is Bright Chinidu Agbao. I'll be taking you on environmental hazard. And what is this environmental hazard? These are things that can destroy our environment. For instance, flooding, soil erosions, bush burning, and deforestation. And these are some, these are most things that causes hazard. Or that can destroy the environment. A soil erosion, soil erosion is a gradual washing away of a top soil, mainly by air or water. Sometimes it can be natural, sometimes it can be caused by man. You can see some of our objectives are explain the soil erosion, human activities that can cause erosion, method of controlling erosion, practical method of preventing erosion and also we can discuss we will discuss flooding discuss how to prevent it and some of this effect of flooding two main agents of soil erosion like i said the wind and the water erosion when the wind is heavy it blows away topmost soil in the land also when the water when the rain is much it wash away topmost particles of soil from the surface of the earth causes of soil erosion over grazing and over tilling of the land by farmers over cultivation maybe when the land is over cultivated maybe farmers planting twice a year three times a year things like that also intensity intensity of rainfall when the rain is too much it causes soil erosion nature of the soil bush burning wind velocity shape of the land also causes soil erosion when the land is not of shape when it's sloppy it easily causes soil erosion and as these control measures we apply to hinder or to avoid soil erosion one planting of over crops cover crops avoid overgrazing avoid bush burning it's not all the time you you do bush burning so make ridges around slopes of a piece of land when the land is slopey you can make ridges to protect it from soil erosion building or erecting of wind breakers to control the wind or to reduce soil erosion now let's go to flooding so flooding occurs when sentiments sentiments now when refuse maybe let's say plastics woods and other dead refuges are dumped carelessly this causes flooding when they block the flow of of water from the rivers it causes flooding and some of these ways or so there are this effect of flooding it can lead to the loss of life and property it's damage roads bridge buildings railway lines etc flooding pollutes rivers streams lakes causes the water unfit for usage also killing animals in the water body also governments have to spend more money in fighting flood there are these two methods of controlling flood we can see the surface drainage and the subsurface drainage some of the surface drainage are drainage that are found at the top of the soil where are mostly besides buildings etc the subsoil subsurface drainage are mostly the ones that are fine found beneath the soil also we're going to talk about causes of flooding one bad sanitations that is when you clean your house clean your environment you throw it to the dirt at where it ought to be 
Secondly, flooding occurs when sediments brought by water from hills and high level of high levels overflowing in the bank of the river. Thirdly, bad agricultural practice like overgrazing, clearing and burning of forest, removal of cover crops, etc. It causes flooding. Now, prevention of flooding. Flooding can be prevented by construction of good drainages, like I mentioned, the surface and the subsurface drainages. Secondly, it can be construction of dams and walls along the bank river. Thirdly, rivers can be widened. For example, the one done in Ibadan. These are preventive measures we can take to over to prevent flooding. Here are some assignments you need to do to help you learn more about it. Thank you very much for listening. Stay tuned to the next class because this is environmental hazard. Part 1. Thank you.